Okay, I'll stick to my happy face cookie. This just doesn't even look like a rabbit. Hop, 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 hop. Stupid giant. Okay, so we're coming along. I mean, uh, this was packed. So now uh, it's getting emptied out. So, uh, see, I do do work other than uh, security and building fences and, yeah, no, I do everything. Okay, so basically I'm cleaning this garage out and I'm trying to get all the uh, chemicals in one area. And uh, just to let you know, people, um, just because you bought a can of paint does not mean it's going to be good in like 10 years. Mark it. If it hasn't been used for over five, get rid of it. Take it to the, the dump off site and, and take, get rid of it. Um, I just found this. It is latex wood stain. As you can tell, the whole can is rotted. I'm pretty sure what's inside isn't good. I think I can have it disposed of. Okay, so I have to run uh, piping before I put the chain link. And as you can tell, some pieces are longer than others. So I got this really cool tool here, which uh, basically spins and you slowly uh, tighten it as you go along. And it Cut your pipe. I kind of like it. It's good. Okay, so I've uh, put all the poles on. I've cut them and mended them. Uh, even on the backs of the caps. The backs of the caps, I've uh, drilled a hole and put screws in so they don't come off. See? And what I'm doing right now is I'm basically cutting a trench uh, so I can put brick, I'm going to lay my uh, fence line and then I'm going to put bricks on either side of it so the dogs won't dig into the cat area. Now you might be saying, hey, you're still leaving all the dirt in. Um, I'm breaking it up. The reason why I'm not taking it out is uh, we have these wacky dogs. And if I do, they're going to throw the dirt everywhere and I won't be able to get it back into the hole to cover up the uh, bricks. So, uh... I've kind of decided to leave it there until after I start laying the bricks because then what I'll do is I'll do a section, take the brick, take all, I'll lay, I'll lay the, dig it, the whole thing up, lay the, 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 the chain link in my section, then I will put the bricks and then put the dirt on. And so uh, each process or the section, this section is going to probably take a little bit longer because it's a lot longer piece than... Uh, the other sections. Uh, this one's only around 20 feet. The other one's a little bit over 10. <laughs> so uh, those will be really easy to do. And the 10 foot section, I'm probably not even using bricks because they're right next to the concrete anyway. Um, but this right here, uh, this little L shape I need to do. So uh, we're going to uh, break the dirt down then I'm going to go pick up the bricks. Um, there is one more post that I probably should put in, so I'm going to probably buy, pick up that post and pick up the cap for it. Um, I have everything else I need for it. Um, and then be able to start putting a chain link down tomorrow. So uh, that's kind of my goal. Then I'll do the uh, posts against the wall. And that I have to put some cat some... Uh, caps on so I can uh, hook posts to it to go to the other side to put the uh, 
the roof on that I'm building. We still need to decide where this thing is going, the shed, um, because how it sits also affects everything. So, yay, we're going to have fun. As you can tell, I'm a little bit higher than the roof is going to be. And uh, so once I start placing the roof, um, I'm hoping to do a sections and then never go back to that section again because I'm just too freaking big. Uh, so basically I'm going to uh, make sure the section's all tied down, then come back out of it, and then lock that up and keep going until I work myself all the way back to where I need to go. Um, still thinking about putting another gate uh, to keep the dogs from uh, harassing the cats um, over here in this little area. See, I have uh, the one gate, but I'm thinking about putting a second gate right there, uh, right on the sidewalk. Um, because this little passageway goes back here, and I would like to just leave it uh, dog-free so the dogs can't go over here to harass them. So, uh, and then I don't have to uh, reinforce that area either, because uh, the cats probably won't be able to dig themselves out. Um, I might still put bricks there just to make me happy. Um, I haven't decided, um, but uh, everything's looking good. Uh, as I said, the posts are all in, and I'm kind of impressed. Uh, for someone that's uh, never done anything this big, um, I'm pretty impressed with myself. Okay, I'm at Home Depot again. Um, what's really upsetting is I drove all the way to Lowe's, and they didn't have the stuff I wanted, plus the chain link. Um, went up 10 bucks, so it's the same price as it is at Home Depot, and Home Depot's nearby, so I can take things back, and I know they had the bricks I wanted. Um, supposedly she was on her way when I uh, left Lowe's, and she said, oh, I'll meet you right there. I've already loaded 190 concrete bricks, got my wire, got some screw bolts. Sorry, not screws. My dad would kill me. Um, and I'm getting a, a third roll of chain link that is up in the rafters. And I still bet you it'll get here before she shows up. And she better show up because I can't cart all this in my vehicle. It's, it's packed. I could probably do the bricks and I can probably do the wire, but not the chain link. So hopefully she shows up. <laughs> yeah, we got all the bricks in. No shocks. But you know, we got all the bricks in. That's 190 bricks. 190? Yeah. Yay! Let's go to home. <laughs> so I've taken the bricks out of my car. Um, she had to go rescue a dog. So I've had to stack the 190 bricks here. And then tomorrow I get to move them again from. Okay, I moved it from car to here without a dolly. And then I have to move them into the backyard. Hopefully I'll have a dolly. I'm not holding my breath. Okay, so uh, I tightened those down and uh, kind of got it where it needs to go. The only problem is I hadn't put the tension wire in yet. So it's there. And I forgot to bring wire cutters. So. I haven't done that, so I started stretching out the other roll that I had, hooking it at one end, and while I unrolled it, it has that, which is basically a giant gap, which I now basically have to mend. Um, since I'm not really good at these things, it's going to be a trial and error, and hopefully I'll do it right. If not... I'll just yell at myself a lot, but I'm pretty sure it's going to look okay. What I should have done is use that as the bottom and this as the top, but I'm pretty sure I can fix it, so wish me luck. But other than that, it's coming along. I just need to get some wire cutters to uh, do the tension wire correctly, and then I can start stretching everything. This piece is really long, so... What I'm planning on doing is I'm going to uh, hook a, uh, a ratchet midway, crank it, um, then put some uh, support hooks in it, and then do the other half doing the same thing. And so, in so doing, we'll 
uh, work the way it should, in theory. In theory. Look, they're going to play with the dirt, I know it. But uh, I'm having to drop the chain link down. I'm going to put bricks on either side of them, uh, causing it a little bit harder to dig out and to get under the fence line. So, uh, hopefully this is done correctly. We'll find out in a little bit, won't we? Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm uh, grabbing this and I'm pushing the section through and try not to hook it. I'm trying not to corrupt the wire too much, which is not as easy said as done. But I'm almost down and then I'll thread it through this side, hooking it in. So, uh, okay. That's one part. Okay, I've uh, stretched the fence out and uh, I'm kind of impressed. Um, there was a really huge gap, I'd say around two feet. You should usually only go around a foot. Um, and I pulled it around two feet, but it's a long distance, so I felt it was okay. Um, I've hooked the hooks like so, as you can tell. And uh, I still got to put some more on it to make sure it's okay, but I think it's uh, coming along. Welcome to Bob Giant. I don't know. Okay, the way to put a chain link fence up, you have to put the posts up, which we have done. Uh, put a uh, metal strip straight down the end then attach them to uh, the tension posts like so. Now you see the nice little slack. What I'm going to do is uh, hook up a pulley system on the far post. Then I will uh, put a uh, another metal uh, uh, rod or post uh, strip in uh, approximately three feet from the end. Uh, I will then uh, hook the pulley system to it, crank it uh, till it gets tight. Um, then I will uh, take a link out of the chain link, which will then uh, disconnect it. Um, I will then turn around, put another strip in there, and attach it to uh, the head post the same way that I've done here, doing that. Um, and then it will count as being done. So, let's hurry up, do it. Okay, from around three feet from the post, I'm uh, sliding a uh, rod down. And this is so I have something to grip on with the uh, the rod with the uh, the crank it's sitting up there and I uh, thread it all the way down all right the strip is now placed straight down uh, the uh, chain link I will then get my uh, pulley system hooked up and uh, crank it so we're gonna hook up this little contraption which is basically a metal post with three hooks we're going to set it approximately in the center and hook it like that. And that's how it's going to sit. Then the other end, we come over here using the hook. We place it like so. So that's how it looks. Um, I'm going to catch a little bit more slack, and then uh, I'll show you the uh, the fine-tuning uh, portion of the fencing. So as you can tell, I got some of the slack, but it's still not tight. So uh, we come over here, and as you can tell, it gets a little bit stronger as we go. Okay, the one thing I'm noticing 
is I think I have this a little bit higher than I wanted. Um, it's cranking it higher uh, in spot, so it's raising it, going this way. Um, you can tell that right there. But I want to crank it. So it's really tight because I'm going to then hook it here and when I let go it's going to pick up whatever slack I have on this the section I'm placing on so uh, I need to uh, make it really tight before I take the section out and hook it up so uh, let me get disconnect going. it so you uh, unhook the bottom and unhook the top and then slowly in this like a corkscrew that goes all the way out it goes out fairly smoothly to be honest uh, you think it's going to be a lot more difficult um, but it turns out fairly easy um, which really stuns you because you think it's going to be really difficult but it turns out to just uh, undo itself so okay and we just but doing it one-handed is a little bit more difficult than doing it with two. and see now watch this Boom. everything disconnects that slides there that slides over there and that falls over because it just doesn't want to co cooperate so there we go Ta -da! Now we put another rod in and hook it up. So I was uh, cranking the crank to get it tight and I didn't notice that one, I bent the pipe and two, I bent the crap out of this metal uh, pipe, um, whatever, the metal uh, puller. So uh, I have to uh, now get it out, and the only way I know how is to cut it. I can't believe I bent the post. I didn't even notice it until now. Dang it. Not smart. So here's my situation. I have uh, everything pretty much okay. I'm leaving this open because I have to uh, build a uh, cover. But here's my problem. Um, I have ran out of chain link. That little pile there is probably a little bit over this. Um, so I'm going to make a gate here um, to uh, stop the dogs from running back here. Um, but that leaves me 10 feet short of... Uh, Get, uh, fencing. Um, I have some at the other house, but it's old, so I don't know how it's going to look. If I had thought about it, that would have been the part that had gone in the back. But uh, would have, could have, should have, two different things. So we'll see okay. what I can do tomorrow. So uh, I put the last fence piece up. So now we're completely done. Um, with the fence, well, yes and no. Uh, the one part that I'm still debating about, um, as you saw yesterday that I bent one of the posts and, uh, I still don't know if I can leave it that way. You can tell it's bent. You can kind of tell the chain's messed up. I put this new post in, which will help. And I'm pretty sure I can get away with it, but it's the perfection in me. I'm thinking about ripping it out, um, breaking the concrete, and pouring a new one in, and putting a new one in. Um, hey, leave it in the comments. Tell me if I should fix it. Um, now, if I don't fix it, which I now have enough chain, I uh, gra found some uh, chain link at the house that I'm house sitting 
and uh, it's not as shiny but it's against the wall area so you really don't notice that it's a different chain mail chain mail chain link chain link I got medieval times in my head he yelled chain mail I don't know all the people that watch me that are Rennies will correct me and comment below I don't care um, so now is the hard part trying to figure out how to put a lid on this thing um, because we're putting cats and we don't want them getting out so uh, I now have to build a uh, cover and the hardest part is this that's right trees so I'm going to have to put uh, bars uh, cross back and forth and then I have to put the uh, chicken wire in a way that wraps around each of the trees um, and causes uh, no harm to the tree on top of that but the cats can't crawl out so yeah this is not going to be fun a dog trying to look innocent yep that's what I woke up to I was trying to be nice and let her sleep with me and something went wacky or something I guess and she decided to be active and she tore up a cushion and everything else um, I don't know why I think someone was here at some point or tried to get in here and so she freaked out and destroyed everything so and I was dead asleep or trying to at the time I think she tried to wake me up a couple times and I just said go to, go away go away so my fault I guess I don't know uh, I gotta get ready to work <laughs>